Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back. This is A to Z number 16, and I'm still not making a, a, a dent in the Steam library. There's still so much shit I have to play, but this is the 16th game. Well, not the 16th. This is the 18th game. I had to scrap two games, but Company of Heroes. I never played the first one. I've played the second one, and I'm depending on whether or not I should make a video on the second one, but that kind of goes against the rules, but let's see here. Uh... A few things I have to mention before I start this. I did play a little bit of a skirmish to make sure that the game works properly. It works perfectly fine in ultra-wide. The only problem is that the HUD is incredibly large. It takes up almost, I think, like uh, a quarter of the screen is a fair thing to say that it takes up. But this is the Steam enhanced version, not the legacy version. The legacy version doesn't have multiplayer from what I've seen, and it also doesn't have all of these unlocked. These are all unlocked by default on the regular Steam version that you get, regardless of which version you buy. You get both versions on Steam. And the the refresh rate was kind of a kind of a problem because uh, if you go full screen and you have uh, the resolution that I have right now for ultra wide. The frame rate is locked at 50, so what I did was I did a dash refresh space 120 on the launch options in Steam in order to enable uh, the refresh rate to go to 120, which is good. Game runs uh, pretty smoothly. It's an old game. Any potato can run it, but this is not a, what in the world is, but we're still going to look at the options real quick just to see what it has. It has some gameplay options, which is nice. Uh, I like to have uh, the player color here. It's got the graphics. Graphics have a decent amount of options that you can do. Unfortunately, post-processing is all under one uh, umbrella, so we're going to turn that off for now. And this is uh, this is the rest of it. Pretty decent. As you can see, full ultra-wide resolution, which is perfect. And the audio is right here. You can change the quality of your uh, speaker. Uh, I have it pretty much maxed out. You can't go any higher, which is nice. Cutscene is not in ultra wide, which is fair. Wow, this this frame rate is uh, really bad. All right, so let's see what we got. I really, really, really like the cover system that this game provides you with. It is incredible. I love it. From what I've understood, not many games do this, at least as well. I don't know, I just really like how uh, you take cover. It shows you a preview of how your people are going to be getting cover behind the, the objects that they're, they're going to be sitting behind. And it's just, uh, it adds a little bit of a nice element to it. I really like it. See, this is the HUD. It's pretty, it is pretty bad. So there's two types two types of cover that your, uh, your people can take. It's a green one, which means that it's going to be a little bit more protected. Uh, and the yellow one right here, that just means that they're not going to be fully protected, which adds a little bit of more uh, strategic element to the whole thing. Alright, engineers, let's, let's win this war. Uh, this is pretty cool. Ooh, man, yeah, the, the cutscenes are <laughs> pretty gruesome. Refresh rate still shows 120 FPS, but this is probably, what, 10 or so? These cinematics, though. Jeez. Here we go. This guy's done. Boom. Alright. Let's uh, go here. Oh, man, they're dying. Throw it in there. Hurry up. Here we go. So I don't really care about how bad the graphics look like in this game, but for the age that the game is uh, sitting at, these are pretty impressive graphics. Ready? Yes, sir. Five Nights of Freddy's. Okay. Get behind cover, ding dong. See, sometimes it's really kind of annoying to get them to sit where you want them to, but what can you do? 
Alright. Everyone go hide. Get under there. This guy's dead. Alright, clear. Left beach exit. Neutralize 88 battery. On the bridge. So. Alright. We need to attack these guys. Alright, they're dead. Rifleman will go first. They need to protect the engineers. And then the engineers will go probably here for now. Who can I attack for this? Can I attack these guys? Yes, sir. Bam. <laughs> That's what I'm talking about. Alright, kill them. You're not pinned anymore. Let's go, guys. Nice. That's what I'm talking about. Another thing I appreciate about the game is, well, uh, while, our, while your guys move, I'm pretty sure they attack as well. This is kind of annoying, though. Like, when... <laughs> is this gonna... Oh, that range works. That's incredible. Destroy them. Damn. Even the bonus objectives, Diach? LHQ are draws clear for the tanks to come ashore. Secure the perimeter and dig in. Inform Dog Company that we are in position and waiting for them to come offshore. Good. That was the first mission. Wow. I don't know how this ended up in my Steam library, but I'm sure glad it did. No, idiot. Stop shooting. Right, okay. Get back there. Let's do a frag. Boom. There we go. One more grenade and... Damn. That's what I'm talking about. So, it's interesting that this game, as old as it is, supports ultra-wide, but the Outer Worlds does not. Oh, our guys need help. Oh man, they're getting pinned down. It's kind of an unnecessary cutscene, but okay. Oh, they're gonna get grenaded up so good. Oh, there we go. Okay. Ooh, these fuckers right here. I'd like to get them somehow. Six units. Here, what's what I'm talking about? Alright, they need to be naded up. Cover. Oh, these are all gonna be bam, kablam. All right, advance. Nice. Nice. All right, pick this thing up. Oh, look at that guy down there. He's like bleeding out and he's still alive. The attention to detail. Meanwhile, games can't even have ultra-wide support nowadays. I wonder if we can just take our own path. So, I know that the objective tells you to place the mines there, but can I just go around, like, like here and kill these guys and just make my own path or whatever? That'd be cool to know. I want to try it. What's the worst that can happen? I'll just take these guys. 
warn paratroopers here. Oh man, yes, yes we're sir. gonna do that. Watch for Jerry. Watch for Jerry. There they are. Get him. Oh man, they're gonna die. Oh, it's an ambush. It's an ambush. Oh, they're getting destroyed. Look at that. There they go. Oh, oh, yeah, he died. Okay. Put some mines here. Hopefully no vehicles come. Oh, this is so slow. The suspense. Oh, there we go. There they go. Oh shit, more vehicles. Never mind. Oh yeah, he is gone. <laughs> he is gone. That uh, bazooka that we picked up, that, that just did the trick. We should all just focus power on that. There we go. Destroy it. That's down. Oh man, that's a lot of people. I'm still full. Oh yeah, there's a guy. Reinforcements. Uh, someone who died, but I had it. Uh, I had him reinforcing from before. So once the population cap uh, was not one, it was no longer maxed out. Uh, the guy just paratrooped it down from the. That's pretty cool. You can queue these up. Ooh, he's dead. Oh no. Yeah, you're you're effed, bro. Come on. Oh no, the. Bazookas are missing. Oh, here we go. <laughs> he just got blown to pieces. Let's capture this thing. Oh. <clears throat> What's this guy supposed to be? Officer? There we go. He's done. Uh, oh, they're retreating. Okay. Yeah, you can just retreat. See you later. Oh boy! All right, these guys are gonna capture this. Where is this guy going? Where the fuck are you going, dude? Oh god. Okay, this is frustrating. Just, uh, just shoot them. Just fucking shoot them. It's point blank range. Can you just shoot them? Seriously, there's. Oh my god, and my guy died. It's kind of frustrating a little bit <laughs> because uh, they're like point blank range, and that's that's one frustrating thing about video games that I kind of uh, wish I didn't have to deal with. Sometimes it's leaving stuff to the AI and the RNG. Like, look at this. These I, I didn't tell them to walk there. I told them to attack these guys, but clearly it's not in the agenda. Where are you going? I don't understand. I... Sometimes the pathfinding is kind of annoying. Enemy unit down. Let's destroy these guys. Oh, finally some reinforcements. Yeah, this fucker guy. These guys are fucking just not doing shit. Look at this. Let's go, dude. War is happening. Yeah, I'm guessing these missions are a little bit longer than I anticipated. Alright, let's kill them. Ooh, behind us.
Oh, connect territory not connected. Okay, so gotta capture this. So we're gonna take these guys and move them up front. I'm gonna leave the the weaker guys back. I'm gonna try not to lose a lot of uh, units because now I'm surplus on the population. Any units left behind? The only complaint I have is you can't really tell your units on the minimap because they're all identical. The structures should be a little bit more distinguishable, in my opinion, but... There's just um, uh, a little bit of criticism for the game. Nice, these guys are rank 3 now. I wish I didn't have so limited... Such limited uh, population caps. Yep, so while I walk, my guys can attack, which is good. And hopefully there's no friendly fire. Alright, let's kill these guys. Bam. Bam. That's what I'm talking about. I think the problem with these is that they're anti-tank, so they're not doing their best fighting infantry, which is fair. To be fair, that is fair. But we're about to send the infantry in, and we're not going to fuck about. Where are they attacking? Oh, this place right here. Okay, so gonna get some more reinforcements, baby. Why are they getting so close? What the fuck? What the fuck? No. No. Ah, oh, man, these guys died. Holy shit. What is fucking happening? And these guys didn't do shit. Okay. Oh, God. Sometimes I wonder. Pressing fire. survive long enough did what just throw the grenade Jesus ah, I didn't need to okay cool damn it that squad died Roger that bring some reinforcements in Oh, my anti-tank died. Damn it. Oh, fuck, there's a mortar. Right, just go right into them. That's a good idea. I gotta be a little bit more strategic with how I pro uh, progress with the map, so. Yep. These guys are expendable, they're gonna be sent first. Got it. We are gonna yes, give sir. them the upgrade though, because we're not savages. Heal them. Alright, mortars. 
get him. Damn it. There you go. Get him now. Boom. Shit, they keep disappearing. There we go. Is that it? Bam. Why are they outside? I told them to stay inside. Fuck. Alright, moving out. Enemy unit down. Enemy unit down, that's all I need to know. Oh, there they are. Fuck. Okay. So, capture this. It's gonna be a mortar versus mortar situation right here. Where's my anti gun? Okay. Here. Fuck. We're gonna have to do the same thing. Exit. Before you die. Fuck. Oh shit. Guys, get in there. Oh my god. This where's the mortar at? Mortars are just devastating. Holy shit. Alright, where's these guys? Uh let's just move forward and see what we got. We're just gonna do one squad. One squad one squad game. Oh, yeah, kill him. Enemy He's unit dead. down. Here we go. Get him. We got him. Keep it up, airborne. Enemy fucking grenade. We got him now. All right. He's dead. Kill him. There we go. Keep your asses down. Okay. Got some uh, reinforcements. Hide. Thirty units. Well, that's probably gonna take a while, so we're gonna focus on these guys. All right. Secure the road. What now? Oh, there's probably gonna be a counterattack, and we're gonna have to fall back, won't we? Build it. Build it quick. Thirty seconds. Oh <laughs> shit. Come on. Do I have maximum squads? Uh, I can regenerate. Oh man, it's gotta be HQ. Fuck. Okay, what about these guys? Yes. Ah, oh, never mind. Keep it steady, guys. Good. Airborne, let's move. Get from the back. You guys stay on this side. You guys stay on this side. Vehicles approaching. Let's do this. Man, it's just so atmospheric. Command. Down. Listen up, people. 
doing some damage. Oh, shit. Alright, fall back. Get in there. Get in there. Why, why are you crawling? Let's go. Attack him. Out of control. Oh, shit. If you didn't crawl, maybe you'd survive, but guess you're gonna be worthy of your own fate. It's okay, this is gonna be the distraction. They're not dying though. Interesting. I just throw the grenade. Whatever. There we go. More guys coming. There's so many vehicles coming. I should have set up more mines. Ready to drop. Go! 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 cover. What do you need? Fire. Are the mortars doing anything? Or what? Ah, oh, this guy's pretty good. Level 2. They really need to listen to what I'm telling them to just go high. Hmm. Go high behind here. Go, 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 go. Man. Here's the counterattack, but we got them. We're on the run. All right, now it's the time to advance and go here. Enemy unit down. Out of control. Attack that. Attack that. Rank three already. It's a little bit easier than I thought it would be. Get him! Wow. Trying to take our territory. Wow, that was good. No. <laughs> that was good. I'm not sure I would call this hidden gem. I knew. I had a gut feeling that it was a good game because it played Company Furious 2, and that game was incredible. And so is this. Yeah, this... I'm gonna wanna finish the campaign. It's brutal. This is freaking difficult. I really need to change my, my way of thinking when it comes to positioning units because the cover system is there for a reason. I have to advance every single squad individually instead of just grouping them up and sending them to the enemy without any thinking, without any uh, planning. This, game's, this game really definitely requires you to kind of plan ahead and have uh, some strategy to what you're doing. I remember when I was playing Battlefield 2, Battlefield, uh, Company of Heroes 2, rather. I, in the campaign, I actually, in the first few missions, I pretty much completed the whole thing with one or two squads because I sent them to the cover and they were killing people and they leveled up and once they level up they become a little bit more powerful than what, uh, what the original levels are, so... Yeah, I mean, I'm fairly confident that the whole campaign can be beat with more, no, no more than a couple of uh, squads. Just send them strategically to places and let them do their thing. The issue is with the RNG component of these games, the fact that uh, they're going to be sitting right in front of the other squad and shooting and they're just not going to be hitting them at all because they're missing. 
that's kind of infuriating. That's a little bit frustrating to, to, to watch because if I was there and I was controlling the unit, you know what? It would have been done. I, I would like to believe at least that I wouldn't suck at aiming. I would like to believe that I would be able to just beat the enemy no problem. You know, uh, in Battle for Middle Earth 2, there's no accuracy. You just They just hit. So if... If the archers are hitting the pikemen, you're going to hit them regardless. They're, you're going to damage them. So when there's one enemy unit and five enemy units around that enemy unit, I mean allied units uh, around that enemy unit, the, the enemy unit is going to die real quick. In this game, for a few seconds, you're going to be watching your allies just shoot aimlessly to uh, nothing. Just the ground, just trying to make them dance like the Wild West. Just shoot them in the feet to see them dance. That's it's kind of frustrating, but it's a little bit of criticism for the game. That is not to say that it's not an incredible game. It absolutely is. It takes the cake. It is uh, definitely worthy of playing, and I will absolutely 100% be keeping this game in, installed on my computer. And I'm going to be trying to finish it. So there you have it. Another one that uh, is worth it. Absolutely. Hopefully see you on the next one. Peace.